Hey everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and welcome to another Mosaic Monday. This is the video that I originally started filming last weekend and this is a throwback to a design that was released in 2020 and I wasn't able to film such a long tutorial at that point. I didn't have the equipment for that so now that I do, I've gone back and I'm going to do the larger design. This is a multiple of 24 plus 4. You can work this in the round using this same tutorial. I'm going to be working flat today. If you want to work it in the round, you can do that. And if you're not familiar with how I do in the round, I will link the videos that I have. You just need to watch a few rows of those tutorials just to get the general idea of how you would be working in the round and how you would do your color changes and carry up your yarn. And then you can jump right back to this video and follow the repeats given in the video to work in the round. So I've got a couple of samples worked up that I want to talk to you about. And I also want to let you know, crochet hook, whatever one I'm using is always going to be linked down in the description now because I am asked frequently about what crochet hook I'm using. So that is down in the description. I give you a link to whose ever hook it is. I am not affiliated or sponsored, so you can check out their websites. I do happen to love these hooks, so that's why I use them so much. So we have a mint colored craft smart yarn it's a size four and then we have a red heart super saver in a gold tone i believe it's called gold and that is going to be my color b throughout the tutorial today so we're using color a right here is the mint yarn and that is more our background color so whatever color you choose that you want to see a lot of that would be the color that you're going to use as color a and then the color that you want your shapes to be outlined in would be your color B. You can, of course, switch colors when you finish your first repeat and you're going to transition up to do another full repeat of the design. So like if you're carrying up for a larger project, you can always switch out color B when you start your repeat over at row two. I'm going to give you all the information in the video on how to work flatter in the round and how to move up for additional repeats of the same design. There's lots of information as always down in my description. I've got hook information for sizes that I recommend all down in the description along with different project ideas all figured out for you and row start times. Link to the Etsy shop and the patterns all down there in the description as well. And for those of you who are going to use the chart set, that you get in the Etsy shop, you are going to be looking at option four chart if you want to work with your chart and this video to create this particular design. So this is option four from the chart set. We begin by working in our multiple of 24 in color A. So you're gonna get your starting chain ready working in that multiple. So you're gonna chain 24 over and over as many times as you like. If you want to work this pattern in the round, you are then going to slip stitch to the first chain you made and begin working the repeat given in this video starting in that same stitch that you slip stitch into. So you start right away. If you want to work flat, you're chaining in your multiple of 24 as many times as you want and then you add four chains to the end. We're going to be working flat in this video, so I have chained 24 twice, so I have a total of 48 chains, plus four on the end for a grand total of 52 starting chains for my swatch. This is going to give me two repeats of the pattern on the row, working this way. So we're going to begin now by working on row one, so you need to get your starting chain ready and then come back to the video where we will begin working row one, also in color A. The repeat for row one begins by working a single crochet into the second stitch from your hook. So if you take a look at your work, we're going to be skipping one chain and going here into the second and we're gonna do our traditional single crochet. So that means we're going to work under the V. So you wanna make sure that you're completely in the stitch. And then you just grab and finish up your single crochet. Row one's repeat is working a back loop only single crochet in each and every stitch. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. 
we're going to go here into this very next stitch but this time instead of picking up both loops we only pick up the back loop so we work in that one loop and then we do a single crochet from there we're going to work exactly in that same manner all the way down the rest of the row and then in the very last stitch we'll do our traditional single crochet again so you want to keep working those single crochets in the back loop and come back to me when you have one stitch left and we'll work that one together we're back and we are here at the end of row one we have placed a single crochet working in the back loop in each and every stitch all the way down our row one stitch left all of your last stitches in every single row will be worked doing a traditional single crochet so we go under that v making sure we're completely in the stitch and then we finish out our single crochet for those of you working in the round you would not be doing a single crochet here a traditional single crochet you would just simply be slip stitching and joining because you will not have the first and last stitch like we have here you'll just be working your repeat stitches so now we're going to chain up and clip our yarn so that we can move on to row number two where we will be switching over to color b Row two begins by joining on this time with color B. So I'm going to be using this gold tone yarn as my color B. So we go here to the very first stitch that we made and we want to identify our first stitch. We want to make sure we are identifying that V. Scoot down our turning chain. If it's in the way, scoot it down out of the way so that you don't accidentally work into that. Now we're just going to be joining on our yarn and doing a traditional single crochet. This is how you will join on your color each and every row. So we're going to go under the V. We want to draw up our loop with color B. Chain one. Now we're going to go back into the same exact stitch and finish out our traditional single crochet. So we want to go into that same stitch and grab and pull up our loop and do our traditional single crochet. So that's how we join on and begin every single row. Now our repeat for row two begins and our repeat for row two is a back loop only single crochet worked in each and every stitch. So throughout the rest of the tutorial, I'm going to be referring to that just as a single crochet. I just want to make sure you guys understand all of our repeat stitches. When they are single crochets, they are going to be worked in the back loop. So we only work in the back loop throughout the repeat stitches so for this row super simple and easy do your single crochet in each and every stitch and then meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number three and remember last stitch in the row traditional single crochet so we'll be back in just a moment Row three begins now by joining on this time with color A, and we begin our repeat for row number three immediately by doing nine double crochets over the next nine stitches. So I'm going to show you how we do our double crochets for mosaic. We are going to wrap our yarn just like normal, and then we identify our next stitch, and we need to slide down, directly down, picking up that front loop that we left by doing back loop only single crochets and then from here we want to just draw up our loop nice and loose right here we don't want to draw anything up tight and then we want to grab and pull through two and grab and pull through two so completely normal double crochet it's just the position that we place it in that makes it special so now we've done one we need to do eight more so we're going to wrap again Identify the next stitch, slide directly down, turning our hook and picking up that front loop. So 
that's all we need to do so there's number two so this is a drop down double crochet is how i refer to them and we'll just be calling them double crochets throughout the rest of our project so we're going to wrap go down and pick up our loop so there's number three number four number five number six Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Now we're going to do a total of seven single crochets over the next seven stitches. So we're going to identify our next stitch and we're going to be working just like normal in our back loop. So we're going to do a total of seven single crochets. So there's number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to end our repeat by doing a total of eight double crochets over the next eight stitches. Wrap, identify, and slide down. So here's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Five. Seven, eight, and that ends our repeat for row number three. So let's recap that repeat. Row three's repeat began over here when we did a total of nine double crochets working across these stitches then we did seven single crochets and we end our repeat with eight double crochets so that means you're going to start back over with nine double crochets next so to work on down your row you are going to begin the repeat again and that repeat begins with nine double crochets 
So we just start with our nine double crochets. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, and nine. Now we're going to do seven single crochets. So identify that next stitch. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to end the repeat by doing eight double crochets over the next eight stitches. There's one. Two. Three, four, five, six. Seven, and eight. And that ends our repeat. So we've now completed two repeats of the pattern. So we restarted our repeat with our nine double crochets, seven single crochets, and then we complete the repeat with eight double crochets. So nine double crochets, seven single crochets, eight double crochets. You just complete those same set of stitches, the same set over and over, and you're going to grow out your project on down your row. But for those of you who are following along with me, you're going to see here you have a long stretch of double crochets in between our pattern. So this is going to be the base, the very bottom tip, of our pattern and then we have our space in between that we're going to be working through so you'll have a total of 17 double crochets here that is correct because we end with eight then we start our repeat over and it has nine and i'm just explaining this one time because i do have some new viewers who are confused when i'm saying to just keep repeating the same repeat on down the row so I give you the repeat, we begin the repeat, we end the repeat, and from here, I'm going to tell you to just restart your repeat on down the rest of your row. 
and I won't do two full repeats together. So now we're going to do our row end for row number three. So if you are not ready for the row end, please pause the video and come back to me when you are ready. For the rest of us, if you are ready to move on, our row ends on every single row are gonna be worked exactly the same. You're going to find at the end of every single row, you're, you will have two stitches left. And the way that you will handle all of your row ends is exactly the same. You will restart your repeat in the second to last stitch. So right here, you'll do whatever your repeat starts with. Then last stitch in the row is always a traditional single crochet. So for row three, our repeat starts with a double crochet. So we just complete a double crochet right here into the stitch. Last stitch in the row, our traditional single crochet goes there. So we make sure we get under that V each and every time. And that is the end of row number three. So from here, just chain up and bind off and meet me back for row number four in just a moment. Row four begins now by joining on this time with color B. So that's the gold tone yarn for me. We're going to begin the repeat for row number four immediately. And that repeat begins by doing a total of nine single crochets over the next nine stitches. So we just begin working just like we're supposed to in our back loops. So there's one. Two. Three. four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we need to do one double crochet here into this very next stitch. So we're going to work here and we're going to do one double crochet. We're sliding down two rows below, picking up that front loop. There's one double. Now we need to do five single crochets over the next five stitches. So right here, very next stitch. There's one. two, three, four, and five. Now we will do one double crochet here into the next stitch. And we will do a total of eight single crochets over the next eight stitches to end our repeat. There's one, two, three, four. five, six, seven, eight. And that ends our repeat for row number four. So let's recap. Our repeat for row four began over here when we did a total of nine single crochets one double crochet, five single crochets, 
one double crochet and we end the repeat with eight single crochets. So you will immediately start back over here with nine single crochets and keep working this exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. So we'll meet back up in just a moment for row number five. Remember, end of the row, you're going to have two stitches left and you're going to start your repeat again for the second to last stitch. And then you will do a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. So we'll be back in just a moment. Row five begins by joining on with color A. Here's what our work is looking like. This is two repeats of the pattern on this row. Row five's repeat begins by doing a total of nine double crochets over the next nine stitches. Here's number one. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. And number nine. Now we will do one single crochet right here into the very next stitch. So we're right there on top of that double crochet. Doing one single crochet. Now we will do one double crochet. followed by three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's number one, number two, and three. One double crochet right here into this next stitch. one single crochet and we will end the repeat by doing a total of eight double crochets over the next eight stitches. There's one two, three, four, Six, seven, 
seven, eight, and that ends our repeat for row number five. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat for row number five began over here when we did a total of nine double crochets all along here. One single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets here in the center, one double crochet, one single crochet, and we end the repeat by doing a total of eight double crochets. So you'll start back over completing nine double crochets next to continue on down your row, working in the same manner. So you're just repeating the same set of stitches over and over. So we'll be back in just a moment for row number six. Remember, end of row five, you're going to have two stitches left. You will work the first stitch of your repeat here into the second to last stitch, and then you will work a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. So essentially, if you just follow your repeat all the way down the row, you will never run into any issues in the beginning and end of your row will match up. They'll be nice and even for you. So we'll be back in just a moment. Row six begins by joining on this time with color B. Our repeat for row number six begins now, and that begins with doing nine single crochets over these next nine stitches. So we just begin working just as normal. Right here, very next stitch, there's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here into this stitch. One single crochet here into the next. one double crochet right here into this very next stitch one single crochet here into this next stitch one double crochet here into this next one single crochet, one double crochet, and now we're going to complete a total of eight single crochets over these next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
And that ends our repeat for row number six. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat for row six began over here when we did nine single crochets across these stitches, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and then we end the repeat with eight single crochets. So you're going to begin your repeat over doing nine single crochets, and then you will start doing your double crochet, single crochet through this section, and then you will end out with eight single crochets. And you'll keep working on down the rest of your row, repeating the same exact set of stitches over and over as many times as you need to. And remember, always down in the description, you're going to find the row start times if you need to see this worked again. So please pause here and we'll meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number seven. Remember, end of the row, two stitches left. You will restart your repeat for one stitch and then you will do a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. Here's what your work will be looking like after you've completed row number six. And now we're going to move on to row number seven and you need to join on with color A. Our repeat for row seven begins immediately by doing a total of five double crochets over these next five stitches. Here's number one. Number two. Number three. Four. And number five. five single crochets over the next five stitches. So we're going to identify our next stitch. Here's our first single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do one double crochet right here into this very next stitch. Nine single crochets over the next nine stitches. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. eight and nine. Now we will end the repeat by doing four double crochets over these next four stitches. Here's one, two, three, and four. 
And that ends our repeat for row number seven. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat for row seven began over here when we did a total of five double crochets, five single crochets, one double crochet, nine single crochets, and we end with four double crochets. So you will start back over and work five double crochets and complete the same set of stitches all the way down the rest of your row. Here's what your work will be looking like after completing row number seven. We are now moving on to row number eight. So please join on with color B to work row number eight. Row eight's repeat begins immediately by doing a total of five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to complete one double crochet. Three single crochets. Right there, one into the very next stitch. There's one. Two and three, one double crochet right here, one single crochet, one double crochet, Now we will complete a total of seven single crochets over these next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven now we will do one double crochet right here into this next stitch and we will end the repeat by doing a total of four single crochets over these next four stitches. Here's number one, number two, number three, and number four. And that ends the repeat for row number eight. So let's recap our repeat. Our repeat for row eight began over here when we did a total of five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So you will start back over with your five single crochets and keep working this exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row as many times as you need to. We'll be back in just a moment for row number nine. Remember, end of the row, restart your repeat for one stitch 
and then do a traditional single crochet in the last stitch of your row. Here is our work after completing the first eight rows. We are now moving on to row number nine, which we will need to join on color A to work row number nine. Our repeat for row nine begins immediately by doing a total of five double crochets over these next five stitches. So here's number one. Number two, number three, number four, and number five. Now we will do one single crochet here into this next stitch. So one single, one double crochet, three single crochets, One, two, and three. One double crochet. Seven single crochets over these next seven stitches. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we will do one double crochet right here into this next stitch. And we will end, or we will do one single crochet here into this next stitch. <laughs> And now we will end by doing four double crochets right here over these next four stitches. So here is number one. Number two. Number three. And number four ends our repeat for row number nine. So now let's recap that repeat. Row nine's repeat began over here when we did a total of five double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, and we end with four double crochets. So you will start back over and complete the five double crochets and keep working this exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. We'll be back in just a moment for row number 10. Here is what your work will be looking like after completing row number nine. We're now moving on to row 10. So please join on with color B for row 10. 
We are now beginning row 10 and the repeat for row 10 starts by doing five single crochets over these next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. We will now do one double crochet right here into this next. One single crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet here into the next. one single crochet here into the next stitch one double crochet one single crochet 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 one double crochet Now we will do four single crochets over these next four stitches to end our repeat. So here's number one. Two. Three. And four. And that ends our repeat for row number 10. So let's recap what we just did. The repeat for row number 10 began over here with a total of five single crochets. And then we go through this section right here where we do double crochet, single crochet, 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 double crochet, single crochet double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, and then we do four single crochets to end that repeat. If you stop and take a look at what you're doing, when you get here to our actual design, our pattern, you're going to do a total of eight double crochets, and each of those is separated by one single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So in between when you're working your pattern, when you're moving on, this whole section is just single crochet straight across. So when you restart your repeat, you're going to have five single crochets through here, and then you start your double crochet, single crochet combination until you've done a total, that's a total of eight times essentially end up with eight double crochets so hopefully that'll help kind of simplify this row it seems like a lot but you look at what you're really doing you're just doing the double crochets here in the pattern everything else single crochet so we'll be back in just a moment for row number 11. 
here's what your work will look like after completing row 10. So we're now going to be moving on to row number 11. So join on with color A to complete row 11. The repeat for row 11 begins immediately after joining on this time with color A. So now we're going to begin our repeat, which begins by doing one double crochet five single crochets over the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, nine single crochets over the next nine stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that ends our repeat for row number 11. So let's recap what we just did. Our repeat for row 11 began over here with one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and then nine single crochets ends the repeat. So you will start back over with your double crochet and keep working in that exact same manner on down the rest of your row, repeating this exact same set of stitches over and over as many times as you need to. And we'll be back in just a moment for row number 12. Row 12 begins now by joining on this time with color B. Row 12 begins by starting our repeat immediately here into this next stitch and we're going to do one single crochet. One double crochet.
three single crochets. One. Two. Three. One double crochet. One single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, Three, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. nine single crochets over the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one double crochet right here into this next stitch to end our repeat for row 12. So let's recap that repeat. Row 12's repeat began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, nine single crochets, and we end our repeat with one double crochet. So you will just simply start back over at the beginning of this set of stitches and keep working the same set on down this row until you reach the end. Row 13 begins by joining on with color A. Our repeat for row 13 begins with one double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet, Five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, 
three. Four, five, one double crochet, nine single crochets over the next nine stitches. There's number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, one double crochet, and we end our repeat for row thirteen by doing one single crochet right here over this next step. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 13's repeat began over here when we did one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, nine single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet. So you'll start back over with your double crochet and keep working the same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. Here's what your work will look like after completing row 13. We are now moving on to row 14 and you will be joining on with color B to work row 14. Row 14's repeat begins by doing one single crochet. One double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, nine single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, One double crochet, one single crochet, 
one double crochet. one single crochet one double crochet one single crochet and we end the repeat with one double crochet So that ends our repeat for row 14, so let's recap now. So our repeat for row 14 began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, nine single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. So let's look at what we're really doing. So if we take a look at our pattern, when we are working it up, we're mirroring what we're doing over here down on this side. So we end up with sets of four double crochets separated by a single crochet. That's what we're really doing here. So when we start over and we begin working our next pattern repeat, you're going to see that you're going to begin with your single crochet and then you will do these four double crochets each with a single crochet in between, nine to separate, and then you're back to your sets of your double crochets again. We'll be back in just a moment for row 15. Here's what our work will look like after completing the first 14 rows of the pattern. We are now going to move on to row 15. So please join on with color A to work row 15. Row 15's repeat begins by doing one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, we're going to do a total of nine single crochets over these next nine stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, one double crochet, three single crochets, one, two, three, one double crochet,
and we will end the repeat with one single crochet right here into this next stitch. And that ends our repeat for row 15. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat for row 15 began over here with one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, nine single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. So you will start back over with your double crochet and move on down using that same set of stitches over and over throughout the rest of your row. We'll be back in just a moment for row 16. Here's what our work looks like after completing row 15. As you can see, if you've been following along with my instructions and you restart your repeat down here for one stitch, you will have a matching front and, or start and end of your row. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it a front, but the start of your row and end of your row will match. The reason why we're doing that is, or the reason why I'm pointing that out is just for those of you who really need a visual, when you get here to the end of the row, just look at what you did here and that it will work out every single time this is going to match up. So now we're going to move on to row 16. So please join on color B. Row 16's repeat begins immediately by doing one single crochet here into this next stitch. One double crochet. Nine single crochets over the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. One double crochet here into this next stitch. One single crochet. one double crochet three single crochets one two three one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet three single crochets Two and three. One double crochet right here into this next stitch. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat for row 16 began over here with one single crochet, one double crochet, nine single crochets, one double crochet, one 
single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. Then we do three single crochets and we end with one double crochet. So repeat that same set of stitches over and over on down the rest of your row. We'll be back in just a moment. Here's what your work will be looking like after completing row 16. We're now moving on to row 17, so please join on with color A. Row 17's repeat begins immediately by doing one double crochet. nine single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to do one double crochet. One single crochet. one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, One, two, three, one double crochet, five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and number five ends our repeat. So let's recap our repeat for row 17. Row 17 began over here. The repeat began with one double crochet, nine single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with five single crochets. So you'll keep working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row over and over, and then we'll meet back up for row 18. Here's what your work will look like after completing row 17. We're now moving on to row 18. So please join on color B. Row 18's repeat begins by doing five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, four, and five. Now we will do one double crochet. One single crochet. 
one double crochet one single crochet 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 one double crochet Now we will end our repeat by doing a total of four single crochets over the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And that ends our repeat for row 18. So let's recap that repeat. We started over here by doing a total of five single crochets. Then we begin the series of double crochet, single crochet over this section right here. We're doing a total of eight double crochets and each is separated by a single crochet. So it's double crochet, single crochet, 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 double crochet, and then we have four single crochets to end the repeat. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets total in that section. So in between, when we start our repeat over, we're going to begin with five single crochets over here. So you're going to have a stretch of single crochets and then you'll have these sets of a total of eight double crochets, each with a single crochet in between. We did this before down here. So you're used to it. You know what you're doing. So you can pause here and then come back to the video when you're ready to move on to row 19. Here's what your work will look like after you complete row 18. We are now moving on to row 19. Please join on color A. Row 19's repeat begins immediately by doing five double crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. One single crochet. One 
one double crochet. Seven single crochets. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six and seven. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One. Two, three, one double crochet, one single crochet, And we will end by doing a total of four double crochets over these next four stitches. So here is number one, number two, sorry about the train, number three, and number four. And that ends our repeat for row 19. So let's recap our repeat for row 19. Row 19's repeat begins with five double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, and we end with four double crochets. So you will start back over with your five double crochets and keep working that exact same set of stitches over and over on down your row. So we'll be back in just a moment for row 20. Here's what your work will look like after completing row 19. We're now moving on to row 20, so please join on color B. Row 20's repeat begins immediately by doing five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. One double crochet. Seven single crochets over these next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
and seven. One double crochet. Five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. One double crochet, four single crochets over the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And that ends our repeat for row 20. So let's recap what we just did. Row 20's repeat started over here when we did a total of five single crochets. One double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So you'll start back over with your five single crochets and keep working that exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. We'll be back in just a moment for row 21. Here's what our work looks like after completing row 20. Now we're moving on to row 21, so please join on color A. Row 21's repeat begins by doing a total of five double crochets over the next five stitches. Number one. Number two. three, four, five. Now we're going to do a total of nine single crochets over these next nine stitches. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and nine. Now we're going to do one double crochet. Five single crochets. One. Two. three, four, and five. Four double crochets over these next four stitches to end our repeat. Number one, two, three, 
four. And that ends our repeat for row 21. So now we're going to recap what we just did. Row 21's repeat began over here with a total of five double crochets, nine single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, four double crochets. So you will start back over with your five double crochets and keep working that same set of stitches. So in between our patterns, what this essentially means is you're going to have a stretch of a total of nine double crochets in a row. And then we start doing the work on the actual design, the pattern. So hopefully that'll help you. You will just work in that same way. And we'll be back in just a moment for row 22. Here's what your work should look like after completing row 21. We're now moving on to row 22, so please join on with color B. Row 22's repeat begins by doing a total of nine single crochets over the next nine stitches. One. Two. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to do one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet. We will now do a total of eight single crochets over the next eight stitches to end the repeat for row number 22. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we just did. Row 22's repeat begins over here with a total of nine single crochets. We then worked one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and then we end with eight single crochets. So you'll start back over working these nine single crochets next and go through the same set of stitches over and over on down the rest of your row. We'll be back in just a moment to move on to row 23. Here's what your work will look like after completing row 22. We are now moving on to row 23, so please join on color A. Row 23's repeat begins by doing a total of nine double crochets over the next nine stitches. Here's number one. Number two, three, four, 
four. Seven, eight, and number nine. Now we're going to do one single crochet right here into this next stitch. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One two, and three. One double crochet. One single crochet. Eight double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and last but not least, number eight. And that ends our repeat for row 23. So let's recap what we just did. Row 23's repeat began over here when we did a total of nine double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, and then we end the repeat with eight double crochets. So you will start back over with your nine double crochets and to continue on down the row, you're just gonna keep repeating the same set of stitches. So we'll be back in just a moment for row 24. Here's what your work will look like after completing row 23. We are now moving on to row 24. Please join on with color B to begin row 24. Row 24's repeat begins immediately by doing a total of nine single crochets over the next nine stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We will now do one double crochet. Five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, 
five. One double crochet. Eight single crochets over the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that ends our repeat for row 24. So let's recap our repeat. Row 24's repeat began over here when we did a total of nine single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with eight single crochets. So again, you'll start back over with your nine single crochets and keep working this exact same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. Back in just a moment. We are now going to begin our final row, which is row 25. You are now going to join on color A and begin to work our repeat immediately. Row 25's repeat begins with nine double crochets worked over these next nine stitches. Number one. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and nine. We will now do seven single crochets over the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we'll now end the repeat with eight double crochets worked over the next eight stitches. Here's number one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's recap our repeat. Row 25's repeat began with nine double crochets, seven single crochets, and we end with eight double crochets. So you will start back over with your nine double crochets and keep working the same set of stitches over and over on down the rest of your row.
From here, you can just rewind back in this video to row number two and complete rows two through 25 as many times as you want to move up for additional repeats of the design for larger projects. As always, I greatly appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so, so, so much for your time. And if you don't mind hitting a thumbs up or leaving a comment down below or sharing this video, it does help me out greatly. Also, follow me over on Instagram where I post pictures of upcoming projects or things that I'm working on. Until next time, bye for now.